I love the root test. I love roots. I like cheese balls. Hey, what's up YouTube? This is probably have to figure out if this infinite sum converges or diverges. So the first thing you want to do with a problem like this is basically think about it, right? What can you do to rewrite this? You'll notice that here you have n to the n squared. There's a property of exponents that says if you have n to the n squared, this is really n to the 2 times n. You multiply the exponent. This is n to the 2n. Then you can rewrite this as follows, n squared to the n. So basically, this can be written as some expression to the nth power. Why is that key? Because this is to the nth power. So if they're both to the nth power, the entire thing is to the nth power, and then we can use the root. I love the root test. <laughs> test, right? So we can write this as the infinite sum, as n goes from 1 to infinity, of n factorial to the n, so n factorial to the n, over, over n squared to the n. Then you can take an extra step and write this as the infinite sum as n runs from 1 to infinity of, and then you have n factorial over n squared, and the whole thing is to the nth power. You can do that. That's a property of exponents, right? Now we can use the root test. Recall the root test. The root test says if you take the limit as n goes to infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of a sub n, and you get L, one of three things can happen. If L is less than 1, the series will converge. If L is bigger than 1, the series will diverge. And if L is equal to 1, then we have no information. Fail. The test fails. So in this case, this is uh, our a sub n. When we take the absolute value, nothing happens. Everything is already positive, right? It's all positive. So all we have to do is take the limit here. So we have the limit as n approaches infinity of the nth root of our a sub n. This is our a sub n. So it's n factorial over n squared to the n. Well, the nth root of anything to the nth power, it goes away, right? That was the whole point of writing everything to the nth power. So we have the limit as n approaches infinity of n factorial over n squared. And everyone knows that n factorial grows way faster, so much faster than n squared. So the top is getting big really, really fast. So this limit is infinity that's bigger than 1. So we say that the series in question diverges. That's it. Thanks for visiting my channel. Take care.